Welcome to part two of graphing quadratic functions. Remember that parabola have key features, and those features are the vertex, the maximum minimum points, axis of symmetry, x intercept, and y intercept. And that the prior video we went over all of these items. So moving forward, we're going to try to see what happens in a different situation. So let's say that we have a quadratic function in the standard form, and that that's all we have. Let's say that we are given the function f of x equal a x squared plus bx plus c, that the function is in the standard form. Let's look at a particular function, f of x equal x squared plus 6x minus 40. Now, all we have is the function. We are not given any of the key features of the quadratic function, just the function in the standard form. How would we graph this? How we can graph the function? How can we graph the parabola? We learned before in the prior video how to graph the quadratic function when we know the axis of symmetry, the x and y intercepts, and whether it opens up or downwards the parabola. So we're not going to go in this video, we're not going to go over how to calculate this thing and how do we know these things. That's all part of the prior video. We are simply going to assume that um, we know that. Okay, and then let's see what, what else we need to know to move forward. What we're going to do next is to figure out what the x intersects are, where the parabola is going to intersect the x axis. And here's how we do it. We know that the parabola can only intercept the x axis when y is zero. We can infer that the coordinates will have to take the form of x sub 1, 0 and x sub 2, 0. If we were to intercept in two places, those coordinates will have to have a 0 as the y coordinate. So f of x equal to x squared plus 6x minus 40 is our um, function, and we know that this is equivalent, which is equivalent to x equal x squared plus 6x minus 40. f of x can be expressed as y. It represents y in the equational form. When we talk about functions, we use f of x. But for the purpose of finding the intersects, we want to go, we want to express this as equation which is y equal x squared plus 6x minus 40. Now, we know y is 0. Therefore, 0 is equal to x squared plus 6x minus 40. Now, remember, all we have done is replace y by 0. And we know this because we know that when the parabola intersects the x-axis, y must be 0. This is equivalent to x squared plus 6x minus 40 equal 0. All we've done is move the 0 from one side of the equation to the other side. I mean, um, if a is equal b, b is equal a. Um, it's just a new way to express it. It's an equivalent way to express the same quantity. Uh, we can factor. This is helpful because now we can factor x squared plus 6x minus 40 as that trinomial factor as x minus 4 times x plus 10 equal 0. Now using the 0 property we can infer that if we multiply two quantities and the product is 0 then one of them is 0 or both of them are 0. So we have that x minus 4 equals 0, 
or x plus 10 is equal to 0. This is going to be valuable because now we can solve for x. And in one hand we have that x minus 4 equals 0 or x plus 10 is equal to 0. Um, on one of the equations, if we add 4 on both sides of the equation, we get that x is equal to 4. And in the other equation, if we subtract 10 from both sides of the equation, we get that x is equal to negative 10. These are the values for x when y equals 0. Therefore, the coordinates of the x-intercepts are 4, 0, and negative 10, 0. Those are the coordinates um, of the parabola. Those are the points where the parabola will intercept the x-axis. Our next step is going to be to calculate the y-intercept. So we know that the parabola can only intercept the y-axis when x is 0. That is, the only way the parabola can intersect the y-axis is for x to be 0. The value of x must be 0. So we infer that the coordinate will have to take the form of 0, y, for some value of y. Let's go back to our function notation, f of x equal x squared plus 6x minus 40. And remember that this is equivalent to y equal x squared plus 6x minus 40. We, we replace f of x with y. We go from the functional notation to the equational notation because it's more convenient for this uh, calculation. But x is equal to 0. We already established that at the y-intercept. Therefore, we proceed to substitute x for 0. So we have that y is equal to 0 squared plus 6 times 0 minus 40. This is equivalent to y equal 0 plus 0 minus 40, which is y is equal to negative 40. Therefore, the y-intercept is going to be 0, negative 40. Those are, that's the coordinate of the y-intercept. That is the point where the parabola will intercept the y-axis. We have what we need to graph the parabola. We have now the key features of the parabola. The vertex and the coordinates of the vertex, which is uh, negative 3, negative 49. We know that the vertex is a minimum. We know that um, the axis of symmetry is going to be x equal 3. We all know, we know these things from prior videos. Um, we know that now we calculated here that the x-intercepts are going to be, the coordinates are going to be 4, 0 and negative 10, 0. And that the y-intercept is going to be 0, negative 40. So you have the key features. I invite you to pause, pause the video here, try to graph the parabola on your own using the key features, and then resume to compare your answer to what we have to offer next. So, does your graph look something like this? Good. Um, this is how we can use the function of the parabola in the standard form to graph, to graph the parabola. Thank you.